Thanks for joining us tonight at Two Guys and a Beer. My name is Joel Apple. John Engelbrecht. How you doing? Tonight we're going to take a look at a couple beers from Potosi. Potosi Brewing Company down in Potosi, Wisconsin, home of the National Brewing Museum. It's a nice little museum. Been there myself. I don't know if you have yet, John. I, I haven't made that trip yet, no. but it's on my schedule to do. Made a day trip down there and visited the museum, visited the brew pub, um, sampled a few beers, and it's quite happy. So let's take a look at some of the offerings they have. First one we're going to look at tonight is good old Potosi beer. Um, best put, this is this is just a good beer for someone that's looking to get out of the norm and break away from the macro breweries and well try something different. You're not going to see much of a difference here uh, color wise with this. It's going to look a lot like your lagers that you're going to see from our uh, major competitors out there but it's got a little more crisp taste to it than what you're going to find in a domestic beer. Very crisp. You'll notice the color on it. It's almost a straw color. Very light. Um, hold, not a lot of... Pull that up against your shirt there, Joel. That, you'll see it a little better against the, uh, against the black. It, it, it shows through a little bit better. It, it is really a light beer from the others that we've done on our video blogs before. Uh, that doesn't mean it, it, it's inferior, but it just got a different, uh, different audience that they're trying to attack well, it, attract it's not, with this. It's not lacking in flavor either. No, it's, it's a very good, crisp, lightweight beer. Uh, we always joke that you know, it's, it's a good lawn mowing beer. Uh, something you can hop off the, the lawnmower and walk in the house, grab, and it's about perfect on those 90 degree days. Sure it is. And even, even any time at all, if you're, if you're not in the mood for something real heavy, you know, just something to refresh, even in the middle of the day or a good lunch beer, hey, why not? It, it's also one of those that you could introduce to your friends real easily. Uh, they won't be scared of it if they're, uh, if they're not used to drinking craft style beers like we're looking at here on this blog. Uh, yeah. It's something that they can slide into very easily. A little more information on, on Potosi itself. They were originally in, started in the late 1800s and then went out of business in the early 1970s. A um, number of years ago a group of people got together um, to resurrect the old brewery so to speak and put together um, a foundation to um, well, to pay tribute to, to all the breweries that were here and, and left as a, cause, as a result of prohibition and, and well, just bad economic times during the Depression. So, um, I know when I was, when I was at the, uh, the brew pub, they have the beers that we have here on, on tap. They had a very good Belgian wit, um, killer root beer. Really? Really surprised, yeah. Really good stuff. Um, of course, everything's better out of a keg, it seems. So, yeah. If you're wondering, you know, we've been promoting if you can get down there and take the tour and the brewery, all that good stuff. Potosi's found in the southwest corner of Wisconsin. Uh, you're really getting close to the uh, Iowa border down there, down past Prairie du Chien. That gives you a little bit of an idea where you're looking at. So, yeah. Nice part of the state. Not a lot out there, but a darn good brewery. Now, they do, they brew on site for their brew pub. Everything else that ends up in a bottle comes out of Point Brewery, a brewery that we're familiar with, mm -hmm. and um, visited a couple times, and well, they just put out some good beer too. But gentlemen, if you're looking for a, if you're looking for some brownie points, uh, maybe this fall uh, when the leaves start changing, things like that, you could maybe suggest a day trip to the to the uh, lovely wife and maybe score some points on the way. And just just happen to stop by at a yeah, place that serves you a beer. To be there. Yeah, I didn't know it was here, honey. And there's some nice wineries down, down that way too, so you know, whatever suits your fancy. Beautiful yeah. area of the uh, country to drive through Especially that time, this of, time year. of the year. Uh, you're looking at the, you know, some of the coolies going up and down uh, those. If you're coming across the state, if you're coming down the Mississippi River, uh, it's a beautiful drive to see the bluffs in, along the That's riverside. Right. So, That's right. What else did uh, we decide we were going to have from them today, Joel? Well, we're going to have a Snake Hollow IPA, which is... In my mind, one of the better IPAs out there, um, especially from a small brewery like this. I really enjoy this beer. It's about 70 IBUs, so it's a lot more hops than, um, than what we just had. Um, you're going to see that the color is a lot darker, very indicative of an IPA. Um, it's going to be a little heavier. 
going to have a different nose to hold, it? Gonna hold that up to your shirt know. again, Joel, so they can see the uh, the difference between those. Wow. Uh, the first one and this one. It's got a really nice golden, dark golden color to it. Um, you're, you're giving it a good sniff there. This yeah, Most happy. people think you do that to uh, just good wine, but yeah. it's really a good thing to do it's with your beer. It gives you, good. gives you a flavor to uh, ahead of time of what you're going to get. I agree. What are, you, what are you smelling in there? A little grapefruit? A little citrus? Yep. A little bit of, you know, I, this is kind of beer geeky stuff, but I like to take a good mouthful of the foam because that, that gives me a, a sense of, of what's in there for hops. A little bit, a little bit of a bite, a lot of flavor. This is, this is really almost 180 degrees away from the the good old Potosi that we just sampled. Um, that's a very light beer. This is going to be rich in flavor. Uh, if you like hops, especially on the back side yeah. uh, uh, of the uh, swallow, it kind of nice. just hangs there for you. Gives you a little bit of something to remember after you've had your sip. Yeah, that that flavor doesn't go away anytime soon. And you can notice as we're, as we're taking some sips down the glass here, the nice lacing effect on the glass, you can see where every sip has been. It's good, good um, character, indicative character of a good, good beer. Okay. Now you said this had about a 70 IBU mm -hmm. on it, and uh, for those of you that are new to the blog, had not seen the first edition, that's a, what, International Bittering Unit? International Bittering Units, if yeah, you're, yeah. if you're used to something like a um, what about what a about the beer? gold potosi what would that be at about a 10 had 5 15 15 okay 15 um, which is which is about where where some of the traditional macro brewery lagers are at so yeah this is this is getting into the happy range as i call it yeah it, this is this is one of those beers that if you've been trying to experiment a little bit and, and you've gotten into the pale ales, which are kind of a step above the good old Potosi, and, and you're looking to step out a little bit. IPAs are a natural, natural direction to choose on that. That's right. And uh, th this would be a good one to start with if you haven't done it before. Um, it's it just got a really good, good flavor to it. A lot of flavor. Some some IPAs that you have, they hit you real hard on the front end, real bitter, mm -hmm. and some are really strong on the back end. Um, in my mind, this this has a good bitterness up front and a lot of flavor on the back, on the back end. So you're you're getting the best of both worlds, but it's not too bitter. You don't get that. that it's not bitter. obnoxious. No, it, not it, at it's all. It's just about the right uh, mixture of what you're looking for in an right. IPA. I agree. Um, this is probably my favorite style of beer. So when I find a, a good one like this, I, I make a mental note of it. Something I can look for uh, in my local. Uh, Liquor store when I'm trying to find something That's different. Right. So, have to agree very, with very good choice. Did you have this on tap while you were down at the? Uh, bar? Oh, of course I did. I had I was able to try this. I had the uh, the good old Potosi and also the Belgian Wet. Um, they make some good beer there. They make it in small batches. Um, take pride in what they do. Even ran into the brewers. He was hauling hauling grains up the elevator. Ah. So. Real old school, they do everything by hand, not a whole lot of automation there. So. Another one of those uh, good places to go if you're just looking for good quality beer. That's right. That isn't mass produced. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to lose their identity as a brewer. They, they've found it in the products that they've made. Yep. And uh, we sampled two today that are, are very, very good products that you should try. That's right. And it's worth mentioning that all profits go to charity to support the, uh, support the museum foundation and keep that operation running. Real nice facility. So go visit it sometime and visit their website. Um, can get some good stuff there. Um, patch for your shirt, whatever you want. No. Well, Just talking about visiting the website. Hey, don't forget to visit us on Facebook. We're at Two Guys and a Beer. So lots of good interesting stuff there. Try and shoot you some information now and then. Keep keep your uh, keep your interest in what's going on in the beer world, not in the big beer world, in the little beer world like these guys. So. Another, another good beer we encourage you to try and we thank you for joining us tonight. Cheers!
right, thanks for coming back and joining us tonight. This is Two Guys and a Beer. My name's Joel Apple. John Engelbrecht. How you doing? Well, this is a small little blog about, um, what's it about? It's about know. beer! Let's start, about it. Let's start it over. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> what's it about? <laughs> well, it's about some really good uh, soda pop we could have tonight. Shut up. If you're looking for a good diet pop to drown your sorrows in, we got it for you right there. Good old Potosi compared to the Oktoberfest. It looks like 